Hey folks, today is March the 5th. It's currently 7.30 in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our Adjimat EA week number 27 update review. And let's get over to the, here it is here, review page. And see exactly how we did this week. Alright, so it looks like we definitely had a winning week here. 28.10% overall. Drawdown of 11.76%. Let's go ahead and jump into the MyFX book and see exactly what's happened this week. All right, so it looks like this week we had 1.1% in gain. So that is uh, definitely good. Happy to see it. And if we come down here, we can see a lot of trades open going into the weekend. It looks like we do have a bit more drawdown than usual. Definitely not the most we've had. If you recall, recently we had some drawdown and the EA was able to uh, get everything sorted out and it looks like we have a bit of drawdown here again and I have confidence that the EA will likewise get this uh, sorted out for us here just have to be patient and uh, see what next week brings to us but again we have gone through this two or three times in the past and we've come out uh, just fine just based on what we've seen all right let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the news for this week this was non-farm payroll week. It was today. So let's see what we had. Monday, ISM manufacturing PMI out of the U.S. We also had RBA rate statement out of Australia. I think one of the pairs that we trade is an Australian pair. Australian GDP on Tuesday. Wednesday, we had GBP annual budget release. Thursday, we had Fed Chair Powell speaks. And then, of course, on Friday... We did have U.S. non-farm payroll. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in, take a look, and see how everything went this week. And just like I thought, we did have an Australian pair here. And the first day of the week is the first, but we can go ahead and take a look here real quick. As always, we do have trades open going into the weekend, and as I mentioned, we do have a larger drawdown than typical. It's about the same as it was, I think, either last week or the week before, before uh, the EA was able to settle all that drawdown for us. Hopefully, it'll do the same next week. And if we come over here to account history, we can go to the first, which is right here. All right, and we can see nice win right there. Lots of uh, smaller wins. Okay, so I'm guessing that the reason we didn't have a lot of trades close out this week is because the EA does close out trades in uh, groups. And at this point right now, a lot of the trades that we still have open, it's waiting to uh, close these out in groups. So hopefully, like I said, next week, the market will uh, give the EA whatever it needs to go ahead and get some of these trades closed out here. Let's take another look at if these trades are majority open this week or if they were from last week as we can see right here three five so we do have quite a few trades that were opened today actually we can come up here three four little chunk there that was opened up yesterday and then we have three one so this was opened on monday these two right here and then it looks like the rest are all from last week and you can see here 226, 225, 224, 217, 216. So uh, hopefully, coming up on next week, hopefully we can get some of these trades to wrap up. So those can go over here into our uh, count history. So we can uh, count it and get rid of some of this drawdown. All right, give me one second, folks. All right, just for us to see, I want to check out the old version of the EA and see what the drawdown looks like. Okay, so it's also in drawdown as well and the old version this week did 1.52 percent and so far it's up 1.52 percent what is the first week of march so it was able to close out february at 3.72 percent let's go back and see what the new version closed out february with all right 3.67 percent so around the same and right now we're trailing a little bit behind for march so at this point, all we can do is, uh, like I said, continue watching and waiting. And hopefully going into next week, we'll be able to get this sorted out. 
and just have to be patient and see what happens with it. All right, folks, if you guys have any questions on Adjumat, send them my way, and I'll try to get those answered for you. And if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you guys use the link below. All right, hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you on March 12th for the next Adjumat Weekly Update Review. Take care, folks.